Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new Transporter 2 HD goggles by Emacs. That's right. These are Transporter 2s, which you're already familiar with from Emacs. They're great beginner starter package goggles for the beginner quadcopter pilot to jump in and get in the air without spending his entire bank account savings. This goggle here, though, allows him to do that HD. And it's not a proprietary HD. This is HD Zero. That means you can buy any HD Zero quadcopter, buy these goggles for an affordable price, and get yourself in the sky. Let's go. All right, pilots, so Emacs has already created the Transporter 2 goggles. And those were little great beginner goggles, but they don't satisfy the urge to want to fly HD. So that's what makes these so special is that you can build and fly any quadcopter you want that is HD zero. In today's market, that's quite a bit. And these here are super awesome and I'm excited to try them out. Now you might be thinking once I buy these, I'm going to be screwed because I'm going to be stuck with a pair of goggles that are, you know, box goggles and when I do fall in love or if I fall in love with flying FPV and flying HD and I want to move forward and get better goggles I wasted all my money on this and that is absolutely not the case they did this absolutely smart which makes me very very happy to be able to say that when you're done and you're ready to move on to a bigger more expensive set of goggles that'll be your daily flyers you are able to disconnect this remove them from the box and now you have yourself a display video which is super awesome you can let people watch you fly you can even watch you fly you can set up a camera and live stream your flights you can do whatever you want with this guy because you'll have it as a spare display screen and you can put it right on a tripod and rock and roll so me personally, I've decided to pair my Transporter 2 HD goggles with the Hawk Apex 5. This is a 5 inch HD Zero ultralight racing drone and it is absolutely awesome. This thing weighs almost nothing. If you use the props and a, the right battery, you can stay under 250 grams with this guy and it is an absolute beast. It is fast, it's lightweight, it's built nice and strong for its weight category and I'm excited to rip this thing around in HD. So let's open these guys up and see what do you get for 239 bucks if you're going HD zero. So here we go. Okay. They come wrapped up. Oh, oh wow. They're a lot smaller than I thought. That's nice. So we've got some instructions, maybe some warnings, uh, how to use our on off, our menu button down, confirm, on off boot switch it's type c charging you've got charging indicators you've got a firmware upgrade port and you've even got a micro sd card so that was a big question for everybody is am i going to be able to do dvr recording and guess what you absolutely can you are recommended to use an 8 to 32 gig card so what else comes in the box if i open it up i've got myself two linear antennas these are with a 3 db gain and you can also just swap these out for any other sma antenna you want these are mm, kind of basic you're not going to want to stick with these you're going to want to upgrade if you can and then you've got yourself your cable that's your charging cable, and then you've got your connector cable here. So you've got everything you need all in this one little baggie right here. And I'm going to set this to the side and set this box to the side. All right, let's see what comes inside of the package. Oh, wow, those are nice. Come on, guys, those are pretty slick. Oh, I'm not a big fan of the three strap uh, band. Some guys are, they like the way they feel, it feels more safe and secure. But me, I just prefer the two strap around, but hey, there's no reason in the world why you can't swap these out and put in any ones you want. Now, they do extend in and out if you have not messed with the transporters before. <clears throat> See that, they just slide right out like that. 
and slide in like that and that's just to help you get your focus and make sure that you're getting the best picture possible right here you pop off these black caps and that's where you put your antennas so right here on the front you can see you've got a beautiful fan to keep all of your electronics nice and cool right here you've got your menu slash up button right here is your down button you've got your OK or your confirm button you've got your on off button and then if we flip it over you'll see our boot switch is hidden right here if we turn it to the side you can see our type C charging port it's recommended to charge at 5 volts 3 amps when it's in the on state and 5 volts 1 amp if it's in the off state if we roll it to this side we've got one more spot right here and that is our firmware connection to upgrade and that's what that jumper port right there is for is so if you want to upgrade your firmware on your goggles and then last but not least you have your TF card slot right here and that's where you'll put your memory card and if you notice all of these features that I just went over are on the screen itself including a place to put your tripod you've got some vents down here where you can get some ventilation and it looks like as far as the appearance and the aesthetics that is about it you've got a nice foamy grip here and a big beautiful screen here look at that I'm excited to try these out because I cannot imagine for the price point that we're dealing with for the <laughs> the style that we're going with I'm gonna actually have beautiful great HD zero footage I'm excited about that oh well looky here that's just magnetic and I can peel off this plastic and get a better screen Ooh, satisfying much hey eh? <laughs> wow look at that that is beautiful you could tell this is not cheap and this was designed well and built for long-term use uh, you can see right here's our indicators we've got everything from charging to channels all kinds of stuff going on there this is gonna be awesome and and what I absolutely love about it which I talked about is if you're committed to FPV you plan on flying you're gonna stick to flying the last thing you're gonna do is stick with these goggles I mean you're just not going to but this is a great way to get in the hobby great way for a kid a son a family member or you just want to have an extra pair with you like okay here I am I'm a pilot I've got plenty of drones I want to have people to fly with I'm gonna buy this set when I'm alone I've got my tripod and bystanders and others can watch me fly or if I'm bringing a friend or a family member I can actually pop this in well that would be upside down I can actually pop this in and then say hey hey friend hey daughter hey son come fly with me here's your own set of goggles have fun but if you break it you buy it <laughs> I'm excited this is awesome so that's about all I can show you uh, without actually taking out to the field and having a good time I'm gonna try to record DVR and see what we can do from there I hope that you guys uh, are as excited as I am about this set of goggles I'm gonna go ahead and strap up I'm gonna get this bound over to my Hawk Apex 5 I'm gonna strap some props on it and we're gonna take this to the field and let's see how it does <laughs> all right pilot so here we are we're out in the field I don't want you to be discouraged by the length of my tube but the deal is, is the way my vision works, I had to use this focusing extension so that way it wasn't all blurry in my face. So I've got my HD Zero goggles on. If I wanted to run the screen, I could just pop it off and run the screen. But I actually want to fly FPV, so I have it off like this, and that's how I have it set. Now I'm going to be running my Radio Master TX16S, and then I've got the Emax apex hawk this is the five inch as you already know but it's got hd zero in it so and you don't have to fly this drone you don't have to fly an emax drone you can fly any drone you want as long as it's hd zero okay all right so let's go ahead and arm this guy and we're going to take it to this guy i'm going to try to get some dvr for you we'll see how that goes uh for sd cards it's asking for anything 32 gigs or less all of my cards are bigger mm, so i found something i'm going to try to make it work Let's ride. All right, so I think I'm only on 25 milliwatts, but I could go up to 200. I just haven't messed with it yet.
super windy. Super, super windy. Holy cow, this thing is crazy fast. How are we looking though? Finally, HD Zero affordable. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Oh, you got that right, yes. I am about to fly with my goggles on a stand. So let's see what happens with this. I'm kind of excited to check this out. I don't want to blame the quad when it's really me, but let's give it a shot. Oh, ho, ho, look at me. Oh, I'm not able to get DVR for you. Oh. Are you watching this? Can you see this? Your boy's ripping on a display screen. So even if you don't care for the goggles, I mean, you can run it like this. It's a little bit choppy, but I could upgrade the antennas. And again, I'm only running on 25 milliwatts. You can run yours on 200. Run it however you want. All right, let's go ahead and circle back around. Man, this thing is sweet. I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably set this up, get me a better SD card, and I'm probably going to run this as often as I can. A sub-250 quadcopter, 6S. Whoo! All right, so my DVR is not recording because I'm out of juice. So I'm going to go ahead and park it. And bring it in, bring it in. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I brought it in a little rough. That's all right. You got to do what you got to do. It is what it is. So there's my guy right there. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Ooh. There she is, good to go. All right, pilots, that's gonna do it for the Transporter 2 HD. I think that you guys should run out and get one if you're not flying digital or you wanna get into flying digital or maybe you just wanna get an FPV altogether and you're not wanting to fly analog. I mean, no offense to the anti guys, but analog's kinda on its way out. I mean, unless you're racing and things like that. But if you're wanting to fly digital at a good price point and you can upgrade in the future, which means I'm not losing all this money, look, pop it on pop it off here you watch i mean it's that simple it's that great so i hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this video i hope that you guys will run out and get your own i hope that you guys will check out the link in the video description and i will see you on the next one